Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers. It is Sunday the 17th of April 2023. I'm looking at this, this new Fortnite figure, solo mode. This is Perfect Shadow, 28 points of articulation. Looks pretty cool, except there is no sculpting on the face, which is annoying. I like to have face sculpting. Uh, the number is series 23, number 241. On the back, it shows us Fusion. We've seen this uh, one before. It's on a Voyager I've got reviewed, uh, which should be in top right corner now. I've not seen that. Monks, I'm not going to get. An Unvaulted Ruin. I've got Ruin already, but on the Vaulted version. Uh, you can look that up. You want to see that too. More dropping soon. And there is a number on his feet. Is it the same as here? 241 on his feet. It should say the same number, I think. It says 241 on his feet there. There is Crystal Wings Wrap. I'm not sure that can rub off and show you. If it can, whoever sees it first can get that. And it says, as you can see, code for bonus virtual item included. Okay, I'm gonna unbox this, set him up, and get to this review. If you wanna see this sort of content early, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of the screen now. It's not expensive and you can it cancel anytime. So it is worth checking out. Okay, I'm going to be back in instant with this figure set up. Stay tuned. Okay, here he is. I've got a uh, new light set up for my videos. So you get a nice soft, soft lighting. Looks far better, I think, in with this light. And it's in 4K video, in case you didn't know. He does look really good in this sort of pose. Nice looking figure. More attuned to fantasy, but you have to swap some parts out to make it truly fantasy. But you could use a sci-fi, I guess. So let's get a close look. So the harvesting tool we've seen before, I think. Little skull on the bottom, nothing on the face, nothing sculpted at all, which is a shame. And we can see that it's got these little horns coming out, which are very, very bendy. This nice part at the top makes it very fantasy. This cloak section here makes it very fantasy. The arms are very fantasy too, which is fantastic. The legs. If you paint over a fantasy, the bottom part's fantasy, but the shoes, those definitely are not fantasy. You'd have to uh, swap those. You, you could, I guess, paint them fantasy, but those sort of uh, soles make it look not fantasy. I'll be tempted to swap those out for something fantasy. You've got a really good fantasy figure, especially if you swap that head out, which is all right, but I want some sculpting on that. It's not a bad looking figure at all. Very, very nice. I do like that. Let's get a look at articulation. So it says 28 points, but I know he's going to suffer with his head. So head, left, right, no side to side, and there's no... Ugh. Oh, I think I've got one click up and down because of the sculpting gets in the way. Shoulders would go all the way around, or they will if you push this cloak section up, whatever it is he's wearing. To the side, even with that on, he still gets over 90 degrees, which is great. He appears to have improved bicep articulation. 90 degrees, which is good for Fortnite, and it's what you really want. 90 degrees or more. Pretty damn cool, he's there. Trunk, very small forwards and backwards, not really side to side. He can twist. Waist, small twist together, good twist. Not much on the side to side and forwards backwards. Hips, this will get in the way slightly, but it still gets approaching a full splits. Uh, hands, and it show you hands is both turn around and he's got wave articulation on each. There's a thigh twist. Forwards, not great. Backwards, not great because, because of the sculpt and this sort of clothing. Double kneecap, so he should get quite tight, over 90 degrees. And typical Fortnite legs. So he's got a vet or feet rather. Come on. I don't want to force that one. It just feels like it wants to there we go. Feels like it wants to break. Okay. So he's got a decent tippy toe. Here's a Dorsey Flex Station is just wow. Patring super super cool. And he should have the inward swivel. And the outward swivel on his feet as well. So not bad at all. I'm the oh yeah, I mean you could use him for sci-fi, but he's just crying out to be like a dark court jester with you head that swap the head around, paint that 
wife dropping their legs and change those lower feet. It'd be a really good dark court jester or zombie jester. That'd be great for fantasy. You know? <laughs> Necromancer or necromancy jester to swap the heads around. Because there's nothing sculpted on that. Which I keep saying. Uh, nice figure. Very, very cool. Stand him up there. In terms of size, it'd be big if we measured to the top of the uh, antlers stroke horns. But from base to head, he is around about 10 and a half. The top of antlers, he's a, just over 11, 11 and a quarter, approaching 11 and a half cm. And I just knocked him over. Okay, so let's get him stand up again. Let's compare him to some other figures. Oh, come on, stand up. Be a good boy. Do it here first. Okay, nice then. So I compare it to one of these little skeletons I got, which I love. I've got loads of the unarmored. Now I've got three of the armored ones. One green, which I fixed. He came broken. I knew it was broken when I bought it. One in pink and now one in black. I'll put a top link in the top right. They're small, but they're great for fantasy. Scales well. I will use, uh, again, the Boss Fight Studios because that's the main fantasy line. Sigurd the Wanderer, who's a barbarian or a viking. Scales very well, as you'd expect. And again, I use my yet-to-be-finished, yet-to-be-dyed, painted, whatever, my Fortnite custom fantasy figure. Well, I keep saying I think it looks fantastic, but that's just my, that's just me. <laughs> Made from three different Fortnite figures. Stick him there. And just scales very well. It's a nice all-round figure. I think they've done a pretty cracking job on that. I just wish that they sculpted some details onto the face. Even if the eyes were raised and a slight bump of the nose would have made it better. I think it's just a flat piece of plastic with some paint. But there we go. That's just my preference. Okay, this is Awesome Match Toy signing out saying please consider joining the Patreon. I'll see you in the next video. Remember to check out the video description for discount links and the Patreon link if you're not collecting that already. See you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.